No, 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 I'm fine, really. I'm just well, gonna sit over here. Can I go get you some breakfast or something? No, this is just perfect. Thanks, Ruby. Okay. Say, Frisco, man, have you heard anything from Felicia? Look, I don't want to get into this again. I thought we were going to have a nice, normal morning for a change. It's none of your business, all right? Just stay out of it. Well, uh, thanks anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh, excuse me. Any time. Ruby send you up with my jelly? What? Oh, no, no. Not too bad. I just can't stand toast without jelly. Is this your room? Yeah, my room. I need to hide. Cool. Hey, you in some kind of trouble? I, I can't explain, please. Sure. You like a little coffee, maybe a roll, toast? Oh, well, I can have some coffee. It's, de it's decaffeinated. I don't know. I'd love to have some toast. Yeah, it's help yourself. Hungry. Listen, you. can I ask you something? Sure. Is this milk yours? Yeah. Right. Help yourself. Mm. What's going on? Mm. Well, I don't know just yet, but first go eat. I can't tell you. I don't know you. Then why are you hiding in my room? Well, because somebody's looking for me, and I don't want to see them. That's why they're coming up here. Uh-huh. I'm gonna hide in that closet over there. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, I'm uh, yes. sorry to bother you. Yeah, My name's Colton Shore. Colton Shore. Uh, I was downstairs just a while ago. Yeah. You saw me. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a girl. Aren't we all? Uh, she's a blonde, uh, pretty girl. Uh, I know she's gotta be up here somewhere. Say, does Ruby have something going on here that I should know about? Uh, no. No, nothing like that. See, this girl, she's a friend of mine. Uh-huh. Blonde, you say? Yeah. She's got, uh, hairs up in a bun, actually. Right. And, um, blue eyes, pretty smile. Blue eyes. Yeah. Sexy little overbite. Yeah. Yeah. So you did see her? Only in my dreams, pal. Sorry? It's all right. Listen, if you should happen to run into her, would you tell, tell her, her that you're looking for her, right? Yeah. Maybe. If I strike out. Well, thanks for your help. I live to serve. Hey, you can come out now. Coast is clear. Oh, no. I suppose you'd like to know what's going on. Yeah, that would be nice. Well, well, you see, I'm, I'm from here. Uh-huh. Not really from this room. <laughs> I mean, from Port Charles. And now that I'm back, I don't want anybody to know that I'm here. Then why'd you come back? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Oh, one good turn deserves another. Um, I did something for you. Let's see what you can do for me. Oh, would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Here you go. Can I get you something else? Ah, uh, this should do it. Okay. If you find you want something, just give a holler. Thank you much. Oh, you got it. Thank you. Thanks, Ruby. All right, let's have it. The problem in Port Charles is neutralized. And your mission's over. No, it's not. The guy who kidnapped my wife is still out there somewhere, Ross. Look, Frisco, I make this determination, all right? I'm telling you, your mission's over. I started this. I'm going to finish it. Are you disobeying my orders? This conversation's over. I would hate to have to bring you up on charges. Of what? Trying to protect my wife, which is more than you've done. You've tried. And you failed. She was kidnapped in Paris, and now she's disappeared right under the noses of these rhinestone cowboys you call agents. We will find her first go. No, you won't. 
There's one thing I've learned here, Ross. If you want something done, do it yourself. Nobody's gonna find my wife or help her but me. Yeah. Well, in order to answer your questions, you know, I really didn't do anything wrong, and I'm not in any kind of trouble at all. I just don't want certain people to know that I'm here, that's all. Hmm. Finish them if you want. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. I filled up watching you eat my breakfast. Oh, does Ruby have great food? Yeah, Ruby has great fruit. Ruby's a friend of yours? Yeah, I have a lot of friends here. Relatives? If you don't want anyone to know you're here, why'd you come back? Well, I'm... I sort of wanted to... I kind of wanted to see a friend that was in the hospital. Somebody. Friend. Friend. I can help you there. See, I'm going over to Robert Scorpio's press conference. Well, why would you want to help me? Because I'm a nice guy. Because I'm a sucker for a pretty face. Okay. Because I want something in return. What? I want a little background information. Now, I'm new in town. You lived here, you've been around, you know people. What can you tell me about this alien? Well, I told you I haven't been here. All I know is what I see on TV and what I read in the papers. Well, how do you explain these sudden electrical storms? How do you explain these countywide blackouts? And most important of all, how do you explain this mysterious guy? He's on his deathbed in the hospital and suddenly he gets up and walks away. I don't know. Isn't that why Robert and Anna are having the press conference? You know them? Oh, yeah. They're good friends of mine. Uh, do you think that uh, he would cover up for her if she was with this alien? Oh, no. They always tell the truth about everything. Uh, yeah. Smells like a cover-up to me. No, no. You can ask them anything. They'll always tell the truth. They're very honest people. Yeah, and I bet you still believe in the Easter Bunny. This is fine. I told you it's not at home. I'll wait. So sorry for have kept you waiting so long. P.K. Sinclair. Jones. Frisco Jones. And what can I do for you, Mr. Jones? I want you to deliver a message for me. Well, for whom? As you can see, I'm the only one who lives here, along with my associates and my dogs. You see my dogs? Yeah. Ah, great. And this little message you speak about? I wanted to go to the guy that kidnapped my wife in Paris. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I think I lost you. It's the same guy who would go as far as to kill someone to get what he's after. Namely, a piece of crystal and the Wellington collection. Well, I'm afraid you're a little confused. No such person lives here. You live here. Oh, yes, but uh, I'm a simple man. I'm an author. A bit eccentric, I admit, but yes, I do write about fictional kidnappings, but to get involved in the real thing, no thank you. But the very thought amuses me. It's an interesting cigar. Hmm. It's my favorite blend. Would you... Would you care for one? The person I'm looking for smokes that blend. First time I saw it was in a cafe in Paris. Well, many Europeans do. You see, I'm from... Switzerland. I haven't been to Paris for, well, ages. Of course, I don't like the people. I find them rude. The city is crowded and dirty. I don't believe you, Mr. Whatever you believe, Mr. Jones, is of your own concern, but I expect you to let me live in peace. Thank you. It looks to me like you go at great length to live in peace. Your elaborate security system, your attack dogs, 
Your big boys at the door with their guns. You look like a man who's afraid of something. My pets and my associates. You look me in the eye and tell me you kidnapped my wife. I don't even know your wife, Mr. Jones, but uh, perhaps if I did, I would like to kidnap her. I'm sure she's absolutely charming. You probably don't know anything about crystals or the Wellington connection. Well, that's not quite true, Mr. Jones. I know they both think of beauty, and I enjoy beauty, Mr. Jones. I enjoy having it around me. Beautiful women? Well, what do you think? I think your little Asian friend tried to kill a little girl. No. Desiree? That can't be. I've got a little proof. A man named Sean Donnelly. Ring a bell? He took the bullet for the little girl. Well, how terrible, but uh, I can't be responsible for what she is doing on what she's done. You see, uh, she did live here. That's true enough. She was my first assistant, but I dismissed her. Did you give her a job to do on the mainland before she split? Whatever action she's taken, she's taken on her own. And absolutely without my approval or my knowledge. Now, whoever you are, I'm sorry for your trouble, but I'm getting tired of these mindless accusations. Please, good day. Hold it right there. I talked to Donnelly. I know who you are, so cut the crap. All right, Mr. Jones. What do you really want? Who sent you? Scorpio? No, as a matter of fact. He advised me to stay away from you. Maybe you should have taken his advice. Well, you take mine. Get out while the getting's good, pal. I have a novel to finish. I'm putting you on notice. I'll finish your novel for you. It's gonna read P.K. Sinclair. Nailed to the wall. Good day, sir. told you not to go there. Why should that bother you? Because, because I don't want to get into it right now. Why aren't you being straight with me, Robert? You don't care what happens to my wife. That, isn't, that, fa it? that isn't fair. You just don't know what you're dealing with. Well, then tell me. I met the guy out there. Not only do I think he's dangerous, but I think he's a little off his spool, too. Now, I know Anna's scared to death of him. I don't know what the hell's going on with Sean. Now, after everything that I've been through, why the hell aren't you aren't you laying this on the line to me? Doesn't this tell you something? It doesn't tell me squat, Why Robert? can't you do as you're told for a change and stay out of it? Because I am not going to lay back while this wacko's out there somewhere and my wife is still missing. I will handle it. Not without me, you're not. Then just don't get him up. My... Sorry. My Robert, I'm asking you, please. I want to do this together. Look. I'd like to let Jean on it. But I can't. You're gonna have to let me handle it. Please. Alicia? Mm -hmm. Hey, Alicia. You. Come here. Smoky, you think oh, you're doing? You. Come here. Take your hands off of me. Take your hands off of me before I call the police. Come on, Take give me a break. I saw you duck out of Kelly's. I figured you'd probably come here to check out our Sean. Felicia. You never were that good at these disguises. Anyway, uh, where you? That's pretty good. That's not true. So, you uh, gonna say hello to me? There you go. So, how are you? Lousy. I want to see Sean and get out of here before I find somebody else that I know. Frisco doesn't know that you're here? You haven't told him? No, he's the one who started the whole thing in the first place. What whole thing? 